With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, a wire loop enclosing a semicircle of radius a is equal to 2 cm is located on the boundary of a uniform magnetic field B is equal to 1 Tesla. At the moment T equals to 0, the loop is set into the rotation with constant angular acceleration 2 radian per second square about O coincide with the line vector line of a vector B on the boundary. The EMF induced is a function of time as this where n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 the number of half revolution that the loop perform at a given time find the value of x so if you see here this is rotating with a angular acceleration 2 radian per second square radius is 2 centimeter magnetic field is this right so at any instant if you see the angle rotated it, it will be half alpha t square Alright, this will be the angle rotated, right? And if you see here the area, area of this part which is inside it, right? You can write down the change of rate of change of the area. If you see, we know that the total area is pi r square if the angle is 2 pi, right? So, area of this part will be, if I write down, it will be equals to 2 pi r square by 2 pi if the total angle made at the center is 2 pi then the area will be pi r square and let's say the angle is d theta then it will be this so if you cancel out this pi and pi and divide both sides with dt you will write down da is equals to r square by 2 d theta by dt so if you see d theta by dt will be simply alpha t we know that omega is equals to alpha t, right? So, we can just put the value. So, as you got the area, rate of change of area, you can write down the flux is equals to magnetic field times rate of change of area since magnetic field is constant. So, it will be alpha t. So, if you see, you can just put the value 1 and uh, it is equals to 0 0.02 meter and uh, the magnetic field is 1 tesla b is equals to 2 radian per second square so you can just put the value here so i will write down the magnetic field is 1 a the radius is 2 by 100 so 2 by 100 is 2 into 10 to the power 2 so it will be 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 and alpha is 2 it is t so this will be the flux and if you di uh, differentiate this flux right with respect to if you see this is the rate of change of flux so this is the induced emf since we know that the flux is this right now if you see here induced emf you can see if we got it as this and uh, you can also check the time of revolution a uh, time of half revolution if you see here we already wrote this expression so if you see here the time for rotating angle theta it is it will be equals to under root alpha alpha if you see here it is 2 right so it will be under root of theta only so if you see here the time taken for half rotation for each half rotation so t1 will be equals to under root of uh, half rotation we are talking about so it will be pi right so it will be the second time it will be the time it will take for another half rotation is this so in this way it will be changing right so if you see here we got the induced emf value as a function of time as this right and uh, now if you compare here the equation this and this you can see very clearly that the x is equals to 4 so x is equals to 4 
is the answer of this question thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today